I went from zero dollars to hey, get off my car, bro. Ever since last week, I've been trying, trying to put some sweet, stinky cheese in my pocket. So I hit the books hard, or something like that. Six figures, I was only Which made me want to just drop everything and start my journey to becoming one of the greats. So I got out of bed. And I started researching and planning. And by 2 a.m., I had something of a plan. I had a master plan and a map to lead me to my wildest dreams. One that I thought would be an easy stroll through the park. Little did I know, it was a treacherous and dangerous path. And even though I did some research, I never expected the true difficulty that would lie ahead. I started my journey with really high hopes. Mama said I quickly realized it was a lot harder than I thought. I first started with trying to put some clothes I didn't need anymore on Facebook Marketplace and immediately got banished to the shadow realm. So I headed to all the other clothing apps and posted as slow as I could so I didn't get shadow banned. I had no luck. Literally zero people bought. Poshmark was my greatest enemy. I hated the interface and I hated all of the, all of the notifications. All, all of the notifications I got. Luckily, I learned how to tame that beast. Grailed and Depop were the same, but eBay. eBay was interesting. I got so close every single time I posted, but I would always fail in the end. One rainy and gloomy morning, me and my friend were on our way to Goodwill. I had about $100 in my pocket, and I was really hopeful that I would find a diamond amongst the dirt. I thought I was gonna find some really nice vintage clothing that would just propel my profits to the moon. But I walked away empty-handed, and my money was just screaming in my pockets. <laughs> but then I went over to the antique glass section, and a glimmer of hope caught my eye. A bike. I got to the bike, and it was in perfect condition. I took my phone out, immediately went to Google to find out how much this bike was worth. Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, I bought this bike for $68. And guess how much it sells for online? Drum roll, please. $399.99. That is insane. I was so happy. I was shocked. I couldn't believe my eyes. The bike was just in perfect condition. The sticker, the sticker wasn't even peeled off. I took the bike home and put it in my garage, but I was too scared to touch it. It gave me an evil glare. So it sat in my garage for about a week. Honestly, I was just being really and I didn't have a great place to take a photo of it, okay? It looked like there was no hope for all the other online and eBay stuff. But finally, out of everything I listed on eBay, all the detailed pictures I took of all the clothes I had, the first thing to sell was a dusty, crusty, five-year-old video game. And his name is John Cena! That's right, my WWE 2K16 was the first item to sell from my eBay. And then I was on a roll. I was on a roll, baby. People buying from my Poshmark. More and more people viewing my stuff on eBay. And I got around the Facebook shadow ban with the help of my lovely assistant. <laughs> Things were finally starting to look better, actually, and I finally got around to taking pictures of that bike. And by the end of everything this week, I made a grand total of $16.43. I, I know, I know. It's not the million dollars you probably thought I made, but I got something much, much more valuable than $1 million. And that's, come closer, come closer. 
knowledge. I've learned through my mistakes and miseries and hardships how hard this thing is actually, how hard this all actually is. That you, um, you had, you, you, If you want to learn how to break free and finally do something that you love, click the video right here and stick with me from the beginning journeys of me being a broke boy. And until next time.